long ago. Here in the grassland of Africa, there lived in our village an old man. And at evening, when the work was done, he would love to go walking out on the open grassland where he would watch for those wonderful wild creatures who live all over the, the great plains of Africa. He knew their names. He knew all about their little ones. He knew what they ate. He knew what they lived. He knew their habits. There was nothing about the wild creatures that the old man didn't know. One day, when the old man was out on his evening walk, he happened by a little courtyard, and in that courtyard there was a flock of chickens. Now there's nothing unusual about a flock of chickens in an African courtyard, but this flock of chickens caught his eye because there, in the middle of the chickens, there was a bird that looked very much like an eagle. Now, the old man, he knew very well that eagles and chickens don't hang out together. <laughs> right? Yeah. The old man knew that. So he decided he would try to find out how this strange thing had come to be, that there would be an eagle keeping company with the chickens. So he went to the house there in the courtyard and he went, Coco! The door opened, and uh, the owner of the courtyard stood there, and he saw the old man. The old man bowed very deep. He said, I'm so sorry to trouble you. I don't mean to be a nuisance. But, he said, I have a question. Tell me, are my eyes beginning to fail me now, or is that really an eagle amongst the chickens? The, old, the, the owner smiled. He said, no, 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 your eyes are very good. It is an eagle. And this is how it came to be. He said, one day, I and my neighbors were up in the mountains hunting. And there in the rocks, high on a peak, we found a great old eagle's nest. And in the nest, there was a mother eagle sitting on her little chicks. He said, one of our hunting party drew his bow, and he shot the eagle that sat in the nest. And when that dead bird was lifted out of the nest, there underneath we found those tiny little eaglet chicks. He said, I felt such pity for those birds that didn't have a mama anymore. So he said, I took the chicks and I put them in my hunting bag and I brought them home. And since I didn't have any better idea, I decided I would put the chicks, those eagle chicks, with the chickens. He said, all of those chicks died except the one. And that one grew up believing that it too was a chicken. <laughs> This 
had never happened to him digging. <laughs> he dropped like a rock and landed <laughs> and scampered off to find his chicken friends. <laughs> the old man watched this in utter consternation. Oh, an eagle that does not know how to fly. But then he thought, well, maybe I didn't give the eagle enough chance. So he said, please, Mr. Owner, would you let me just try it? And tiptoed over to where the chicken was. And of course, the eagle was trying to hide. <laughs> the old man. <laughs> and he picked up the eagle. And this time, he leaned a ladder against that house. And he climbed up to the very tip of the roof. And then he said to the eagle, You are not a chicken. You are an eagle. He folded and dig it up. <laughs> now, I should tell you that in our part of Africa, we have a little saying when somebody is a little bit titched. We say, ah, that one, he has a worm in his hair. <laughs> And it was this very thought that occurred to the eagle as he <laughs> fell out of the sky and landed <laughs> in the courtyard in a cloud of dust and went limping off to find his chicken cousins. By now, the sun had gone down and the old man climbed wordlessly off the roof down the ladder didn't even say goodbye to any of the people standing there. He, he was so upset that this proud eagle had never known how to fly. He walked home in the growing dark, and when he arrived at home, his grandchildren handed him his plate of supper. <laughs> He went straight into his room and he laid out his mat and he pulled the blanket right up over his head and tried to sleep. He tried to forget what he had seen. Soon the moon rose and the village fell silent. Even the dogs had stopped their barking and all the children were carried away <coughs> on the tide of their dreams. There was one person in that village who could not sleep. It was the old man. All he could think of was that somewhere out there in the night, there was a proud eagle sleeping with the chickens. <laughs> Finally, he threw off his blanket and he, he groped for his cane, and then he stepped out of his house into the moonlight. And by the light of the moon, he found the path that went back to that very place where he had seen the eagle and the chickens. And when he got there, he went to the door. Ode! Coco! <laughs> After a little while, there was grumbling in the house, and shuffling of feet, and the door creaked open. And there was the owner, staring out into the moonlight. 
at the old man who was leaning on his cane and he bowed very deep. He said, I'm so sorry to trouble you at this terrible hour. But please, I have not been able to sleep in one week. I'm begging you, let me try one more time. <laughs> so the owner, who wanted nothing more than to be back in his blankets in the winter chill, said to the old man, please, old man, just satisfy yourself, just leave us in peace. Thank you. The door closed. The old man went over to the thorn tree at the edge of the courtyard where there was a chicken coop. He knew the eagle would be sleeping there. He opened the chicken coop. He reached inside. shielding his eyes. <laughs> 